Over the years, the communities I work with have led many campaigns to advance their most critical priorities, such as achieving education equity, ending mass incarceration, protecting immigrants' rights, and dismantling the school-to-prison pipeline. And they've won many, many significant and even groundbreaking victories. They've not so many wins that one would naturally assume that the racial inequities they face would have substantially diminished or even disappeared by now. However, even after all of these years and really staggering sacrifices by the individuals who led those efforts, it's difficult to make the case that those communities are better off than when we started. It's just that for every two steps forward these communities have been able to make, there are other forces at work that are quick to push them two steps back, if not more. So it was really like we were in a big game of racism whack-a-mole. For every injustice we thought we were solving, an equally nasty one would pop up to replace it. So no matter how hard we fought and how many victories we accumulated, we rarely felt like we were really moving the needle. And it was then that I began to, to detect some patterns to what I was seeing. So I started to notice that the opposition we face in each site was rather consistent. So regardless of which state or region of the country I was working in, the bad policies we were up against were usually being supported by the same set of advocacy organizations, think tanks, and media outlets. 